What's up, nerds? I'm Hoops4, and welcome to Endgame. It's 2022, and I wanted to take a trip down memory lane to see if Dark Souls Remastered stands the test of time. We are now in the age of Elden Ring, which has sold millions, and Demon Souls beautifully remade for the PS5. So, in search of an answer, I played 56 hours and got a platinum trophy to see if this game could still stand on its own two feet, or if it simply gets outclassed by other games in its own series. Does this older Souls title still have what it takes? Well, on this channel I don't like to keep you waiting. The answer is a resounding yes. After my time with the game, I would rate it an 8 out of 10 and say that it absolutely is still a game worth playing for both fans of the genre and for those newer to Souls likes. So let's go ahead and enter gaming. I want to go ahead and get my only complaint, and the elephant in the room, out of the way. The graphics. The graphics haven't aged well, even with the remastered version's help while playing on the PS5. Well, it could be easy to stop there and say the game just can't be competitive today, but I was looking to dive deeper. The graphics do hold it back, but there is so much more to appreciate with this game. Besides, we got the Demon Souls remake recently, and as amazing as it is, there is way more to that game than just its pretty graphics. Moving on now to the gameplay. The combat is wonderful Souls-like combat. It is methodical and challenging. It is slower combat than the likes of Elden Ring, but that doesn't make it easy. As usual, Dark Souls offers the player several class options. From there, the player decides how to allot skill points and what types of weapons to use. In my experience, the gameplay was smooth no matter what weapons I was using. On the same page as combat, we have to talk about the bosses. Bosses are a staple in Souls-like games, and this one is no exception. The bosses are all creative, interesting, and offer a fair combat challenge. They are not overwhelmingly difficult, minus a couple of exceptions. Dark Souls clearly built on the boss ideas of its predecessor, and had great success in doing so. With that, I would like to analyze how Dark Souls compares to its predecessor. The way I see it, what Demon Souls was as a proof of concept, Dark Souls is a perfection of the formula. Demon Souls bosses are inconsistent, with a couple incredibly difficult, followed by a large number of gimmick battles and pushovers. Dark Souls changes that. The fights are mostly of a consistent difficulty, with only one or two gimmicks, one of which is widely regarded as the worst boss in the game. You know, the crazed broomstick tree known as the Bed of Chaos. Additionally, the world building was a massive improvement in Dark Souls. Where Demon Souls has separate biomes connected by a single nexus, Dark Souls has a fluid, interconnected world. The biomes flow from one to another as you progress through the game. The shortcut system is used effectively, resulting in sprawling levels that never actually make you run that far before your next bonfire. Each of these fluid biomes has its own unique enemies that feel appropriate to the area. Unique, at least in terms of repeats in this game. I must take a second now to complain of how some of these enemies are near identical to ones from Demon Souls, but I digress. The areas range from disgusting to beautiful to magical, and each one is at least as difficult as the last. The NPC structure is worth noting in this game as well. The arcs, naturally created by conversations you have with the NPCs, make for really interesting storytelling. It's a method of storytelling that is rather indirect, and I happen to be a fan of it. I appreciate having just enough information to put the story together myself, as opposed to always having every ounce of information thrown in my face. While some people may find this method lazy and unconventional, I actually find it more thought-provoking and intentional. To finish up, it is worth noting the DLC that is built in with the remastered version. That is, Artorius of the Abyss. This DLC adds a couple of very unique areas that are fun to explore. Additionally, it is home to a couple of my favorite and arguably some of the best bosses in the entire game. After all this, I hope it's easy to see how Dark Souls has managed to keep its footing for so long. Even amongst the likes of Demon Souls Remake and Elden Ring, Dark Souls Remastered is absolutely worth adding to your backlog, and maybe even sliding near the top of the list. 
It really is a great game, and a wonderful experience that is both challenging and memorable. Its slower pace makes it a bit more beginner friendly, but it's not so slow that veterans can have a good time with it. Dark Souls Remastered has stood the test of time thus far, and has earned an 8 out of 10 to this day. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for watching, right here on Endgame. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content.